The Cataclysm That Changed Earth Explore the catastrophic events triggered by the Chicxulub asteroid 65 million years ago, revealing the devastation and potential threats of future asteroid impacts. Learn about NASA's efforts to defend Earth from similar disasters. The unyielding force from outer space, the Chicxulub impactor, an asteroid estimated to be between 11 to 80 kilometers wide, 7 to 50 miles, collided with Earth at a staggering speed of 72,420 kilometers per hour, 45,000 miles per hour. The impact site is now the Gulf of Mexico, but at the time, it was characterized by shallow waters covering the Yucatan Peninsula. Such an enormous mass moving at incredible velocity met our planet with catastrophic consequences that reverberated globally. Atmospheric Entry and Initial Blast As the asteroid entered Earth's atmosphere, it maintained its overwhelming speed, plunging through the 60 miles of atmosphere in just three seconds. Unlike smaller meteors that burn up upon atmospheric entry, the mountain-sized Chicxulub asteroid plowed through with minimal deceleration. It emitted a thunderous sonic boom, capable of shattering eardrums around the globe. Before even touching the ground, the compression of air in front of the asteroid generated intense heat, vaporizing the shallow sea covering the impact area. Upon contact with bedrock, the asteroid's kinetic energy converted into searing heat and released approximately 1 septillion, 300 sextillion kilojoules of energy, more than a billion times the energy of the Hiroshima atomic bomb. Formation of the crater and rebound effects. The resulting hole nearly breached Earth's mantle, creating a crater with initial walls gouging outward at a height of over 32 kilometers. The collision caused the Earth to behave like a liquid, producing an up-and-down movement similar to a double splash from a cannonball dive into water. The delayed vertical splash rebounded to heights taller than Mount Everest. This impact then transformed into a series of secondary explosions, creating a peak ring within the crater. Meanwhile, Temperatures reached far hotter than the surface of the sun as the asteroid's kinetic energy excited the molecules of soil, rock, and air. The Chain Reaction of Disasters Blast Wave and Global Effects A blast wave traveled outward at more than 1,600 kilometers per hour, causing destruction on an unimaginable scale. For context, if this asteroid hit today, it would vaporize Texas, deafen New York, and blow out windows in Buenos Aires. Shockwaves traveled through the Earth's crust at 4 kilometers per second, triggering earthquakes across continents. Even the opposite side of the world felt the ground shake within 30 minutes of the impact. Tsunamis and Floods The impact generated tsunamis as high as skyscrapers. Within the first hour, waves ranging from 600 to 1,000 feet hit the Gulf coastlines, devastating the regions now known as Mexico and the southern United States. These tsunamis reversed river flows and traveled up river beds, while also impacting distant shores such as Europe, Africa, and the Mediterranean within six hours. Planet-wide, waves swept inland and retreated with incredible force. Atmospheric fallout material ejected from the impact, including tektites, glass-like chunks, returned to Earth within the hour. Their friction with the atmosphere emitted thermal radiation, transforming the planet into an oven set to broil. This thermal wave resulted in global wildfires, decimating most of the world's trees. Such extensive fires and molten rock created a blanket of soot in the stratosphere. Combined with sulfur from vaporized Yucatan bedrock, it caused torrents of acid rain and a global temperature drop by 50 degrees. The Long-Term Impact on Life The immediate aftermath of the impact was apocalyptic, almost wiping out all life forms. While creatures such as sea turtles and crocodiles managed to survive due to their aquatic habitats, most four-legged animals, larger than 25 kilograms, did not. Large-scale burrowers like small mammals, snakes, and lizards found refuge underground, while some birds nesting on the ground also survived. The origin of the asteroid researchers Avi Loeb and Amir Siraj, through supercomputer simulations and asteroid data, proposed that the Chicxulub asteroid originated from the Oort cloud, a sphere of debris at the edge of our solar system. A gravitational push from Jupiter sent this comet closer to the Sun, fragmenting it into pieces capable of crossing Earth's orbit. Their study suggests that such catastrophic impacts could occur every 250 to 730 million years. <laughs>